Sega. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up everyone? I am Sonic Ride 9 and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. Today I'm covering Sonic Colors on the Wii. This has been played on my Wii U, yes I still have the console. And um, yeah, this is in celebration of the brand new Sonic Forces that's coming out in about a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, being that I've already done Generations, I figured I might as well cover um, the other half of the inspiration for Forces, which is Sonic Colors. So, let's go! Hello, no Navigator. And as you can tell, we're going straight into the game. This is trying to copy sort of a classic Sonic style of game, where it just, once you hit new game, you go straight into the game. So uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So guys, as you can see, this game um, tries to take um, the gameplay from Sonic Unleashed, specifically the gameplay that everyone liked, mainly the daytime stages, and just sort of make that as the primary primary 3D Sonic gameplay from you know this point. And um, I mean, I like the boost formula. I, don't, I think um, I I think it offers a great deal of speed and everything. I know a lot of people don't particularly like the boost formula, but I personally, um, I'm a bit of a fan of it, I'm going to be honest. Now I know there's probably going to be some fans who disagree with me saying, oh the boost formula sucks or something, but it's my opinions. If you don't like my opinions, that's absolutely fine. I'm not trying to make any enemies here, I'm just giving my personal thoughts. My personal thoughts are, I think the boost formula is decent. But anyway, this is the first level, which is, um, and the first world I should say, which is Tropical Resort, and it's a pretty good um, first world um, level. You know, it's got some nice set pieces um, and whatnot. Whoa! And boom, there we go. End of the first level. Yeah, ex all I'm going to say is right now. Expect the levels to be over quite quickly because a lot of levels, in, a lot of these levels in this game are are about one minute to two minutes long, providing you can actually do beat it quickly. Yeah, got an extra life. <clears throat> so yeah, these levels will go by quite quickly if we're going to be honest. So hopefully that means this will probably be a shorter let's play, you know, just so that we can be all ready for when Sonic Forces does indeed come out. Which, before anyone asks, if everyone's wondering what I think of the game so far, even though I haven't played it, the game looks all right. Nothing amazing, but it looks all right. 
Now I don't want any I don't want to see any comments in below saying oh Sonic Ryan 9 is a bit of a Sonic Forces hater, he's part of the Sonic Forces defense squad or something like that. I don't want to see any of those comments in the comments below, okay? I'm not in any of those groups. I haven't played the game, so I can't give a full opinion. But just going over the trailers, I think the game looks alright. It looks okay. <clears throat> and that's all, what I'll, all I'll really say until I have had hands-on experience of the game. So, yeah. Anyway. Sonic Colors. This game is pretty good in my opinion. I mean, compared to um, Adventure, which is still my personal favourite Sonic game, I prefer Adventure over this, but I, I still think this is a decent enough Sonic game for what it is. It's probably not the best Sonic game ever because there's some bits that I'm not that big of a fan of, but overall, I think Sonic Colors is a, gr is a really good Sonic game. And I'm not going to discredit discredit those who think this game is amazing. If you guys if you guys think it's amazing, then sure. You guys go for your opinions, and I'll go for my opinions. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is going to want to come here. No doubt. But now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True. It would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Wow! Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people! Buckle up, and Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun! I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. Makes my head feel like it wants to. Huh? Your voice chip is stuck on cowboy again. Stop talking and let those aliens. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Huh? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Whoa! And Sonic somehow turned into a laser. By the way, yeah, I, uh... This was a test run that I did a little while, um, just recently. And, uh, yeah, I tried to record it with dialogue, but my voice wasn't working. Like, it just didn't record my voice for some reason. It recorded the gameplay, but not my voice, so... Yeah, we're going to have to, uh... Over that. Oh, E102! <laughs> That's cool. But it's not going to be E102, it's going to be me. Yeah... <clears throat> Let's do Sonic. Just make it different from my completed file. Alright. <laughs> 